Hello everyone, Rizzy Toothpick here, back again with some more Bio Mutant. And today we're gonna find the secret that we learned from Gizmo. If we can get up on this mountain. And if we look on our map here, we are very close to it. I'm not for sure how we're getting to it, but I'm assuming. Oh, there's a little tunnel. Oh, what is this? You found a green leaf plant. Jump through the loop to collect the leaf. You can use that to buy things later. Green is the monetary currency. Oh, so there's money here? Oh, okay. So we actually need to keep an eye out for these things. But yeah, it looks like the secret. Never mind. I thought the secret would be in here. But it's not. And let me go this way. And I'm assuming, well, I'm going to be pissed off if it's like right here, you know, like there's an easy way for us to get to the item. Bling, what the hell is that? A bling sizzle bug? Sizzle fluff. Yeah, I think this is the guy that we're hunting right now. Oh, he smacked the shit on me though. Oh, he got me with that tail. Oh, yep. He's got that electricity. Can we avoid here? It's actually very difficult. I think we need to do some jumping on this guy, actually. We want to just stay away from him. This is the one we have to jump. Yeah, we already got him pretty much figured out. Oh, got lucky there. I do need to heal. Okay, this is a, probably a perfect time. We'll do that dandy candy just get a little bit. Oh yeah, we're taking them down. Guns are still, you know, overpowered, but I do know that they're gonna update the game. So they might fix that here pretty soon, but I'm not for sure. But he is done. Okay, what do we get? We got Sizzle Fluff Poo. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do with the poo, but we'll do something with it. Rooktown Vault Key and level eight. Find out what the key so unlocks. Many critters make their home in the forest. Okay, hold on, let me go to the map. Where is Bricktown or whatever? Right down here. Oh, so it's somewhere in this area. Side quest here. Apparently, we gotta find a mount quest. Okay, but let me kind of explore in this tunnel here. Cause I'm feeling this is the secret right here. Literally, we found it. it just took me forever. Okay, old world vaults. Could be this key. Oh, this is the vault. Okay, so that was his secret that he was telling us about. We had to kill that guy regardless if we wanted to get in here. A large energy pack, not bad. There's eight bolts around the world, apparently. And what do you got for me? Better be something good. Aviation cap. It has a lot more armor. A lot less health and energy regain, but a lot more critical chance as well. I mean, we might as well put that on. And that one's as bad. What do we have in here? Oh, we have some weapon attached, or we got some building components for future weapons. Shell clip. That might come in handy. Alrighty, but now with that taken care of, we figured out where his little question mark was. And now I think it's time for us to go hunt down the Jumbo Puff. And we're gonna fast travel here. Apparently I can't fast travel from here. 
we'll leave the the vault and then we should be good once we I guess get outside the light is nearly blinding all right let's see here map fast travel this is the closest we are to the I guess there's a little like a fight area in the old world roads like this really led somewhere now most of them lead to disaster all right we're in our vehicle now let us go down try not to get destroyed here by the oil fields and whatnot we are quite a bit away from it but i think we can remove the waypoint i'm pretty sure that big old yellow star will tell us where we need to go and of course while we're doing on this journey or whatever we're gonna be looking for like some side locations to find parts for our vehicle that we got here what's here this is a fast travel point like literally right here stand up on your own two feet hopefully we can breathe it in here yes we can I literally just want this right here. Let's see. This is a little bit quicker. It looks like there might be like a little city here or something. Question is, do we want to move through here? I am worried that this is just like a small area that where life, you know, can still live. Once we get out of here, we're going to be dying and we're going to need the, the machine. So I might as well get right back on it. It looks like there's some blue guys in here. Unfortunately, you cannot shoot and suck up the the oil at the same time. Yeah, get rid of the little ones here. All right, we got rid of that one. The only thing is, I wish we could like move quicker. We do have the level up to. Uh, we got two points, I believe, so we could... Oh, there's a big one somewhere. Oh, he's starting to pick up, like, oil. Bang Shelter 7C should have been stated right there in Toxinol Letter. Okay, we found some area, apparently. I'll say go down. Bang Shelter. Why would you call Life something Bang Shelter? Oh, there's something there. Come on, you can pick it up or something. Crack open that tin can and escape. Oh, huh, that's weird. It's showing me that something was, you know, right there, but is that a turret? Might be. Let me just kind of get rid of them here so we don't have to worry about them. It's a small little area. I was expecting it to be a lot larger. Let's be a little bit careful here, because I don't know what those turrets will do to us. Small health pack. Nothing to be really excited about. Oh, here we go. Camo vest. That's what I'm talking about. Better? Definitely better. Equip it. Oh, yeah. We're rolling like a soldier now. Tennis ball, we might be able to make a weapon in the future that shoots tennis balls at enemies. There's a whole bunch of one-shot kills and whatnot. That'd be actually pretty neat. Twiddle for an automatic rifle, not bad. I guess we found the goodies right here. Yeah, only one superb blue. One-handed slash, wired, melee attacks paired with the weapon regenerate 20% of your maximum key energy. Not bad. And we found pants pants, which are actually weaker than what we're wearing now. Uh, I did not see what we got there. It was weird. Another magazine, health patch, only did like 50 it's regen. Light around. Apparently it's day and a top mod not really for sure what that's about it does a little bit more damage so 
I don't know if it's for a weapon or a melee weapon. I guess we'll find out when we start building. Or it might be like an add-on. Oh, there's something up above. Is there an easy way up or no, it wants us to fast travel and whatnot. We can do that later. I say we're kind of exploring the bottom area. Ooh, look at all that. There is a lot of oil there. To the point where we might actually have to go up. Let's see what happens when we go this way. Oh, we got some biggins. This is the first time seeing these. A muffler mog. Ooh, avoid them. And of course we got these blue guys all up at us here. Nope, go after him. Don't let him run away. He'll probably regen. Reload. Kind of takes him a little while, and I guess we killed him. Oh, there might be some oil patches here I'm accidentally running into. Let me get rid of them, so hopefully they won't respawn. This one apparently would not go away. We are getting very close to the uh, Jumbo Puff. But we are definitely stuck. So that means we actually have to go from the top area right... We gotta get, apparently get out of the mountain. Nothing beats your own two feet. Can we fast travel now? There we go. So we have to take the... Uh, where am I? <laughs> uh... Days are scarce. Don't waste them. This place is called Puff Duff Bluff. Boom bangs around here. I don't know when I unlock this place. Okay. Let's talk to him. This little fellow feels the world's on the edge of blowing itself up. He feels it's inspiring to see someone out there still banging away at it. Figures as long as the green keeps flowing, he doesn't care where it comes from. Thinks you've built yourself up into a walking arsenal. He can't wait to see what you do with all that gunpowder. Save the world or help it go kaboom. Says that even boom makers can do some good if they make the right things explode. Just think about the tinks you can destroy with earth-shattering kabooms. What happens next depends on what you blow up. Says that life's kind of like a fuse. Sometimes it does just what you expect, and other times it catches you by surprise. Be careful with what you light up. We'll be the good guy here. That's just what someone says right before they blow it. Thought the world was kaboomed, but it looks like something might be growing in its crater. Wonders why you put so much work into making things safer. Can't see why you join up with the myriad. They go around cutting his fuses short. <laughs> he wants to blow up stuff and they're over there trying to quit it. Only way to improve things is to flatten them. But enough about you. Says his Muma Grandiosa taught him the secret source of making ammunition. And now that there's an endless need for bangs, business is booming. He was born during the baby boom back in the days, and he was so interested in the family business, he even got nicknamed Boom. He'll take the family secret with him to the grave, which could be any day now, with the world ending and all. Well, we definitely got to get the, I can't complain about a bullet supplier. Where are you going to get all that ammo if there's no suppliers around? Says they really do come in handy for making a point, and a hole too. 
Tunsitala, ni pusu tutulamaha. Of course he doesn't want it, but if the world goes under, he hopes it goes with a bang. Katahalitinto tuma. Can we trade now? That, he wants to make the best of the time he's got. Boom says he's always looking for ingredients for ammunition. He has enough sulfur, but he can never get too much charcoal. So if you'll get him some of that, he'll make boom exploding gunpowder. Thinks you're the straightest shooter he's ever met. The light shines on. Now apparently we did something good there by trying to help the gunmen make more bullets for the world. Better isn't the word I would use. Right, not better. Best. You're the worst. The worst of being the worst. I'm just the best. That's kind of weird. So we can't sell or we can't buy things from them. Let me see if we can. Boom says he likes you. You're bang on. Says you're welcome back. Okay, so yeah, we can't buy anything from them. So that was kind of a waste of time. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay, so we want to do the main mission though. See, where is he? Yep, Gizmo. We're still working on that one. Apparently, we do have to go, you know, what we saw earlier from up above. And, you know, while we're here, we might as well level up our character here. What do we want to go with? Uh, maybe better loot chance. Let's go with some more. Hmm. We want a little bit more melee damage just to kind of. If we're still playing when that update comes around, we'll have a little bit stronger if they do make melee bit better. Uh, or move speed. You know what? Let me get a little bit more. Well, you barely, you can't even see it there when you upgrade the agility. I think the most noticeable one is intelligence and strength. So let me just go with some intelligence here for even the puzzles. More facts in that big brain. And then we want to go... See here, we got upgrade points. Rain Mantis A A R T. I mean, that would be nice to have, and that's an easy one to do. Yeah, I think so. I think that'd be a nice one to have. Dual wielding, we can definitely do that now. Weird cursed beaver, the boomerang. I mean, we haven't even tried it yet. See, how about perks? Is there anything of value we'd want? Flip tech would be nice. Your health regain and it is increased by 40% while in combat. Oh, you know what? Hold on, we want to hold off because look at that. Range weapons have their attack damage increased with 15%. We're going to want that. Oh, but level needed 15 so we have to wait. Let me see. Your ranged weapons can fire 25% more shots. I think that's what we're going to get. Yeah, let's get clip tech. This is so we can shoot more. Because we already know the guns are overpowered. This is where we were at. I guess it unlocked the other one for us, weirdly let's enough. See. I guess so. Better get moving before the day passes you by. It's another motor juice station running on empty. Yeah, is there anything of value in here, though? Oh, there's something. Oh. So I guess this is a place that's got all its supplies already taken. Oh, man. We're go we have to go pretty far. To be honest, I'm thinking we might want to do the side mission uh, to get a mount. Let's see here, can we? There we go. Where's that one at? We definitely need a mount to go faster here. One right there. All right, let me fast travel. This went for me, you know, hunting down the uh the boss to now having to go get a mount just so we can be quicker especially if this mounts like a lot quicker if it's like a horse or something maybe like a robotic one not for sure it'd definitely be a, a boom all right 
what do we got here? I see bushes. We saved those guys, and they're still dancing, weirdly enough. Alright, what do we got over here? That's a gnote. Easy prey for Looper Lupin. For everyone else, they're a perfect mount and easily tamed if they are kept fed. You found a pit plant. Glide under it to gather the pip seed. You can use pip seeds to tame free roaming mounts. Okay. And I guess he's our guy now. You can move and shoot while mounted. The mount will stay where you left it if you dismount. Acquire mounts appear in each slot of your transport menu, apart from the top slot, which holds the mount selected in your transport menu. If you want to call your last used mount to your current position, press the bottom. How fast are you? Oh, he's definitely faster than what we're rolling with, that's for sure. He's not that quick, but it's better than nothing. And yeah, we just have him right there. All right, well, let me come over here and let me kind of look this out. It looks like we want to go this way. Probably have to try to avoid uh, this. <laughs> that looks nasty and make our way way over there. Don't hug your mount. It's not your friend. I mean, if he's not your friend, then what is he? He's just some animal that we abuse. Like, take me to where I want to be, bastard. You gotta grow a friendship there. Okay. Okay, can't spawn him here. Let me move up. Alright, he's here. Alright, let's run. Oh, there's something right there. Weirdly enough. I guess we can just shoot it. Smack it, maybe? You can always find some use for rubber scrap. Oh, it's just a rubber thing. Okay. Burn the haystack. Apparently we're getting side missions I didn't even know about. Oh, this looks like a city. Where are we? Sky Pook Outpost. Who's that? Not for sure. We might be in some in a bad area. But here, like, give me the fast travel point. It's Skypook Outpost. The Ankarty tribe blew life into that ages ago. Okay, so it's the Ankarty. Let me check these Let's guys see. out. Okay, so they're actually a relatively light group which is good we'll definitely have to talk to them later i definitely want to try to get over here to this uh first boss and kind of get them out of the way just so we can kind of see what's going on there let me just try to get on this path i'll say make sure that thing goes fast now daytime means the clock to night time is ticking Oh, there's some more mole rats. Oh man, you know, riding on this horse and attacking them is pretty simple. Like you don't have to avoid, or you don't have to worry about them like catch, catching up on you. They don't have no range attack apparently. Got rid of him. I got a whole bunch of critical hits apparently. Let's get him. He's trying to run away. He's like, hell no, I'm gonna go heal up in this tar. Let's get some critical hits in on him. We almost have him. Damn, I had to reload. Come on now. Okay, one more left. He is level 8. I think he might be a little bit stronger than us. Either that or we're the same level. He just like barely have to like run away from him. Okay, let's reload. And I mean, since we're already here, we might as well burn the haystack. Just kind of, you know, get it out of the way. 
I don't know what the importance is, but I mean, might a as well. A place like this is a fire trap. Okay, so what happens? The whole house catches on fire. And we're now an arsonist. Or boom. Oh, this is his little side mission. Okay. So this is so we can buy certain things from him later on. I'm assuming like ammo, like electricity and fire and whatnot. The There's best more. stories are about heroes. This is such a story. Yeah, about us uh, getting a gunman, all the ammunition he needs to give everyone in the world so they can fight and kill each other. It's definitely a hero story. Let's get this, whatever this is. Oh, we got another side point. Not bad. And let's get back on our mount. Oh, one of those things, but we're fine. Okay, we need to return to him, but we're not really worried about that. Let's see, how far are we? We are getting very close now. Honestly, I've been crossing the whole literal map to hunt this bastard down. Okay, let me get this fast travel point for later. The only good thing is, is if, if we need to come back here Let's see. in the future, we're going to have all these places, you know, unlocked where we can actually jump out. Looking at it from here, though. Okay, there's a there's a place where we can't go, so we have to go the top route, I'm assuming. And then somewhere over here, we have to get in and then go the back way. That's what it's looking like. So we just need to literally follow this road. Maybe go off of it a little bit. Oh, here's the other one. Apparently there's something down below. Oh yeah, we don't want to go there. I'm assuming radiation is going to be a very big issue in there. I mean, look at this plant life. It's like roses have overgrown. But all we have to do is just kind of get around it, hopefully. And I'm assuming there should be like a little pathway at the back here. Yeah, right in here. Where are the control sticks on this thing? You found Bionucleus 8C. These towers are one of the main reasons the old world went up. Tapped hard. Bang, bang. Yeah, let's try not to give them the chance. Okay, smack. Nice shot. Reload. We almost got this guy. He's definitely a lot higher level than us. That's for sure. Level 12. We're nowhere near that. Got rid of one, though. We have two of them. Let me throw out some nasty... Toxins. I don't think it's really going to do much on to them, though. Try again when you I mean, they are living in, like, biohazard area. Let's go for the one that's being very aggressive. Yeah, they definitely don't like the... The unoxygenated, unoxygenated area. It looks like they need air as well to breathe. Oh, but he, like, instantly recovers, though. To avoid him. Smacked him down. The other one's trying to attack us, which is not good. No, you don't. Come on, put him down. Right where it comes. Yeah, we want to kind of stay in this biohazard until we get to 50, and then we kind of want to run away. We got him. And last but not least is this guy. You can do this. Oh, he's got that roll attack. Smack him with the melee. And he's dead. 
Not bad, we got the bio points for it. We almost leveled up again. And we have a fast travel point. Let's see. It looks like we want to get our biohazard up so we can actually explore the area, get all the goodies later on. But anyways, now that we're here, suck in enough wind. we're going to get down from the ladder and we're going to call the mech ton. That's what I'm talking about. And we should be able to get to the area that we need to go. We'll find out if we are ready or not to fight him. Avoid him. Ooh, one of them's got like a tracer shot. They're not messing around. Let me get rid of the weak ones. Okay, now we just got the one. We leveled up to level nine. And he's dead. All right, now, how do we get over there? That's the big question. It looks like this is the way. It looks like we can get there from the bottom as well. In fact, we might not be able to make it. We might want to come down. Oh, there's a turret. Oh. Mount up. Where is it? I don't see it. Well, let's kill out these small guys. Let me actually go... Oh, yeah, we're getting very close. Let's upgrade our vitality. Get a little bit more health on us. Get us a little bit more tanky. I think we're going to need that. Got him. And the one that's been a pain in our butt. It's weird how they got these uh, tracking attacks now. I didn't notice them earlier. Maybe it's a level thing. Game on. See if we can like beat him up. Okay, he's dead. And we are now here. Does fire even start here? Looks like we can go through the door, maybe. Jumbo Puff's place, location discovered. There he is. He's just gnawing on the roots. Okay, so we just gotta defeat him. That's a Jumbo Puff with an appetite. Ain't no fuzz. Better run into it before it ends our world. Okay, so he has a fire attack, it looks like. Avoid. Try to stay away from him as best as we can. Oh, he's got a tongue attack. Holy smokes. Was not expecting that. Just dodging every time he does an attack. He pissed him off. And he's got infinite health, so we gotta kind of wait. He's gonna start throwing things at us, apparently. I was say, there's really no point in attacking him. Here he comes. Okay, let's throw those, apparently. What are we supposed to do now? The Jumbo Puff is kicking it up a notch. It's time for an electric performance. Uh, can you stay away from him, please? Just dodge and wave every time he tries to do a attack. Oh, he got me there. A couple of more hits and it's a fried circuit. Void. I say we got him. Don't worry. Uh oh, we're low on health. I wonder if we can do. I wonder if he's immune to electricity or not. Ooh. Okay, we got him halfway. One more bar, and he's done. He's gonna go up there and start throwing fucking rocks at us like King Kong. 
Hi, right, Jumbo Puff. You're a lot easier than I was expecting. I thought we were going to get wrecked by him. Like, look at our health. We only took very little damage from him. Now he's pissed. Throw some in there. His tongue should probably come out or something. Oh, never mind. We did so much damage to him. Wait, why are we inside of him now? Start like a snack, and you'll end up with a ride down the intestinal canal. That's too close to the end station. Better move up. Look at you, all pooped out. From this point on, there's no way forward but going back in. Oh no. Wait, we died? Okay. I I got like so confused there, like I was trying to shoot. Okay, so we need to stay away. That's too close to the end station. Better move up, up and away, or be swept out the bowel way. Okay, there we go. Okay. So what do we need to do wow. now? What a super sized worm. That must be as big as they come. You see, it's what's on the inside that counts. That meaty Taurus is already off feet. End it. Oh yeah, he's already having health problems. Okay, so we figured it out. The Taurus is pumping at half a beat. You know what to do. Yeah, we're just trying to... We almost have it. It's a lot easier than I was expecting. Unfortunately, we did die once because I didn't know what we were supposed to do in his body. But he's dead. Guessed it would go down with a throw up. Can it really get any better than that? And he's done. Oh, we're all nasty looking. All slimy. And it was one of those destroyed mech tons. Oh damn, that whole fucking tree root overpowered now. He thanks you for dealing with the first world eater. It's a start. You should go see Out of Date and find out what you can about the machine he's named the Ark. You're good-hearted enough, so you'll have no problem getting him to share the information with you. He trusts you know where to find out of date by now. He's always been at the foot of the tree, and that hasn't changed. Alrighty. Looks like this guy might have some missions for us as well. Gizmo will always make time for you. Oh, I guess we're good. Says you should take it easy. And we didn't level up. Okay, so let me heal. Let's see here, 175. Oh, health is full? What? I've been like trying to use it. It's not full, but it's trying to tell me it's full. It's weird. Okay, where are we right now? I guess it's showing us this route. Okay, so uh, we're going to stop there today. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the links below. In the next one, I'm thinking we're going to kind of stay away from the world eaters a little bit. Kind of... I'm assuming like capture some rival outpost just to kind of get out of the way. And apparently we have another mission here to find the no-nos. I think those are the potato people. But yeah, we got some basic missions here that we can do. And I kind of want to clear out these uh, these guys right here. The Jengas or whatever. So we'll find out. I think we should go over here and try to clear them out. But yeah, we'll do that in the next one. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out the links below, smash the like button, 
Let's get this bio mutant point. A biohazard like that can make you real sick. And I'll see y'all in the next one.